Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code, weekly contest 354. It's a high level problem. Uh, the problem name is length of longest valid substring. Okay, so the problem statement says that you are given a string word and an array of strings forbidden. A string is called valid if none of its substrings are present in forbidden. Return the length of the longest valid substring of the word. A substring is a contiguous sequence of characters in a string possibly empty. What does it say? So this is some words that I have. These are forbidden. Okay. And this is the, this is a given word. So what I have to do, I have to find the longest valid substring of this word. Now, what is a valid substring? A valid substring is the one in which none of that substring substring are present in forbidden. What do I mean by this? Okay. Let's consider this one. It is C B A A A A B C. Okay. So suppose I choose. Um, so again, there could be a number of substrings, right? I have to find the longest one, right? Longest value one. So suppose I take C B A. Just for an example, suppose I take C B A. So what are the different substrings on C B A? It is C, then C B, then C B A. Okay. You also have B A. Length. Okay. For length 1, it is C, B and A. For length 2, it is C, B and B, A. And for length C, it's C, B, A. Now, these are the possible substrings I can generate for a string C, B, A. Okay. But just see, this string C, B is a forbidden word. That means I cannot choose this substring. This is not a valid substring because one of the one of the substrings of this chosen substring is a forbidden word. Okay. What, what happens if I choose any other word? Suppose I take... Um, a a b okay then what are the possible substrings of this it's a a b a a a b a a b now just see here none of the words are in forbidden so that means i can choose this substring right let's choose another one uh, let's choose a a b c okay then again what are the possible substrings it's a a a b sorry a a b c for length 2 it is a a a b B C for length three it is A A B A B C for length four it is A A B C. So just see here, none of the substrings here. These are the different substrings I can generate for this one. None of the substrings are basically part of forbidden. That means this is also a valid substring. Okay. So all I need to do is I need to find the length of longest valid substring of this particular word. Here A A B C is the answer because if you just check, you will not get any other substring uh, which is valid. And which has a length larger than this okay a a b c is the larger one okay however if you want to see what are the other substrings which are valid irrespective of the length then for this one it is c then b a then you can have b a then you can have a a you can have b c you can have b a a then you can have a a b and the last one is you can have a a b c now out of these substrings these are valid out of these substrings, this one is the largest one. So you return length that yes, length is four. Okay. Let's come to the second example. Here you have lead code and the forbidden words are D E L E N E. Okay. Now here, if you see how many valid substrings are there. So L let's check for length one. Okay. L is valid. E is not valid because E is in forbidden. L you can have T C O D. These are the uh, substrings valid substrings of length one. What about length two? So I cannot choose L E. I cannot choose E E, right? Because for E E again, uh, one you E is one of the substring. It is invalid. Similarly for L E, that itself is a valid invalid substring, right? So for length two, it will be uh, T C. Then I can ch choose C O, right? I can choose O D. I cannot choose DE because as soon as I choose DE, the valid sub for the possible substrings are DE and DE. Now this E is basically invalid. Okay, and DE D itself is invalid, right? Now let's choose for length three. So this is TCO, COD. Then, yeah, this this is it. For length four, it is TCOD. For length five, none of them. So that means this is the largest valid substring, and hence answer is four. Right? This is what we need to do. The constraints are the number of words that we can have is 10 raised to the power 5. The words contains lowercase English characters. The number of invalid words or the forbidden words can be 10 raised to the power 5. Now, this is the trick here. 
the length of each forbidden word can be at most 10 this is the trick this will help us in solving the problem this is the major hint that the uh, constraints are giving us right forbidden of i consists only of lower case english characters all right so let's see let's see how we can approach this problem right forget about the solution let's see the approach right so let me just erase it yes okay so just see here suppose this is a substring in this case i can choose anything suppose l e e t c o d D E okay, this is a substring. Now, what I'll do? What I'll do if I know? Suppose this is index i. Just taking an example, you can take any other example as well. Obviously, because in this case, this single alphabet is only uh, what you call it invalid. Let's take this example. It's C B A A A A B C. Okay. Now, just see one one thing here that the num the length of the forbidden words can at most be ten, right? So if I have to check for the forbidden words, right? The total number of words is ten raised to the power five, right? So if I consider at index i, if I consider an index i as the starting character of a substring, right? I want to check for all the possible substrings starting at character i, right? I have n n characters in my string. I want to check the possible uh, substrings which can be forbidden, which and start at in character i. So what I can do? I know that the maximum length of my forbidden string can be ten. So all I need to do is I need to check for substrings. Okay, remember I am talking about the substring starting at index i. I can check for substrings going from index i to i, length one, then i to i plus one, i to i plus two, i to i plus nine. Getting it? I just have to check the ten adjacent characters, right? Ten adjacent characters because I know these are the only possible. Forbidden strings that can be there in worst case, right? Because the length is ten, right? Simple. So this is what I'll do for every index, right? For every index. Now comes that. Now comes the point that what do I get? Like, what's the benefit I'm getting by doing this, right? <clears throat> so just see this. Suppose I'm standing here, okay? I'm standing here and I check that okay. Suppose these are some characters. We'll take concrete example as well. Don't worry. I am checking that. If I want to generate all the substrings of uh, of length one to ten and check whether which one is forbidden, then suppose I stop here. I stop here. What do I mean by this? I mean by this that starting from here, this single character is not forbidden. These two characters are not forbidden. These three characters are not forbidden. These four not forbidden. However, as soon as we choose the fifth one, it's a forbidden word. It's a forbidden word. Now just see one thing. If you start considering more characters after this, I mean. I have to consider ten substrings, right? So suppose this is i, i plus one, i plus two, i plus three, i plus four, i plus five, i plus six, and so on, i plus nine. Now, if at i plus fourth, that means as soon as you choose choose the five characters, choose five characters, you get a forbidden word. Till three, you are not getting it. Like for example, if a b c d is a forbidden word, and you are having a b c, right? A b c, you you are uh, considering the characters starting from a. Uh, when you added b no ab was not forbidden abc was not forbidden but suppose the next character was d as soon as you add d abcd is forbidden hence what does this mean this means that all the characters on my right hand side also if i start considering them also in this uh, 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 this being the first character then they they are invalid for me why they are invalid because a b c d and other characters if you cho choose this or any other substring starting at a then a b c d will one of the possible substrings for that uh, substring that i am considering right so that means one of the substrings will be invalid that means i cannot choose that that's that will not be a valid substring so all i need to do is consider the ith character at the starting point okay then start choosing the next 10 characters as soon as as soon as you get a forbidden word right as soon as you get a forbidden one you stop because no need to consider the other characters on its right hand side Uh, as part of substrings, which is which is starting at i, right? This is what we'll do. Now, suppose I did this for ith index. Now I move to i minus one th index. Okay. Now what I need to do? I again need to do the same thing, starting from i minus one. I'll go to i i plus one and so on till i plus eight. Getting it? Because i minus one, i then i then i plus one dot 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 till i plus eight. These are the ten possible. substrings that you can generate right so you just keep on doing this 
Now comes the question, what will be my answer, right? What will be my answer? I mean to say, if I start from here, what is the maximum length of valid substring that I can get? So that is simple. What is that? Just see, if A, B, C, D, E is a forbidden word and your, and your string is this, A, B, C, D, E. Suppose your string is also this, right? So if I want to find the longest valid substring starting from here, I know it will be A, B, C, D because I cannot include E, right? I cannot include E. So this is what I need to do. This is the simple thing that I need to do, right? That if this is the starting character that you are considering, this is the last character. Now when you move one step back, right? Now when you move one step back, so what you will do? You will skip all this part. You will skip all this part. Why? Because suppose here you have A. Let's consider you have A, okay? So what, what are the substrings of at most length 10 that you will consider? Starting from this index, it will be A, right? Then it will be A, 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 B, A, B, C, sorry, A, 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 B, then A, A, B, C, then A, A, B, C, <clears throat> D, then A, A, B, C, D, E. As soon as you choose this string, one of the possible substrings for this string will be A, B, C, D, E and it will be invalid. Right now, the moment you start adding more characters, those all will be invalid. So what I need to do, I need just need to keep a track of what's the rightmost index that was valid for me, right? What's the rightmost index that was valid for me? So it will it will be done like this. Let me choose this example, right? It's CBA four times A then BC, right? It's CBA four times A then BC. Okay. So now what I'll do? The last valid character for me when I start is n minus one. So no, no worries, right? I go here. Starting from here, I generate all the possible substrings, right? One character, two characters, and so on, right? Also, what are my forbidden words? The forbidden words are A, 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 and C, B. So A, 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 C, B. Let's do a very quick dry run, right? Starting from here, what's the maximum length I can choose? I can choose the length one, okay? That's the only option, right? So that means, great, this will be the right pointer. My right pointer starts from N minus one because this is the last character that you can include in your current substring, right? Let's come here. Now for B, what I'll do? Length one, length two. Okay. So length one, valid, not in forbidden. Length C, also, uh, length two, also valid. Great. That means my right pointer remains there itself, right? I can include the characters till last point. I come here. What are the possible substrings? It's A, A, B, A, B, C. None of them are forbidden. Great. We are good. I come here. A, A, what are, so I have A, A, B, C. What are the possible substrings? It's A, 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 B, A, A, B, C. Right? So that's great. <clears throat> None of them are forbidden. So that means, yes, these four characters can also form a valid substring. Let's come here. Now comes the tricky case. My string is A, 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 B, C. Right? What are the possible substrings? Starting from here, one is A, not in forbidden. Then A, A, not in forbidden. A, A, A in forbidden in forbidden just see that means starting from here starting from this position the maximum length of substring valid substring that you can generate is a a only right as soon as you include the third a you're gone you can that becomes an invalid string right now no need to include the right right most characters right now what i meant to say was <coughs> Your right pointer was initially pointing to the last character. This was sorry. This was the last character that okay, include all the characters till here. But now as soon as you found out uh, an invalid word and um, a forbidden word, and where did you find out as soon as you added this A, that means I'll not consider this A now. My right pointer will be this. That means whatever characters now I choose on my left hand side, the last character that I can make a part of that substring is this A. Right? Because as soon as I include this A also, this A, A, A becomes a part of the, the um, that particular substrings and that fails, right? So let's do that now. My right pointer will be, so let's write the indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Initially the right pointer was 7, okay? And my answer was 4 till now. Now what happened? My right pointer will be, it will be these three A's cannot be included, so it will become 4, right? It will become 4. Now again, you come here, again what happens? Now just see what are the characters that you can consider? The characters that you can consider is 
sorry a a and this a right these are the three characters only you can consider because initially your right was till end now your right is till index number 4 so starting from index number 2 you can only include the characters in index number 4 because you have updated your right pointer okay so it will be a then a a then a a, a. again you got a invalid substring so again you will update your right pointer now it will become 3 why it will become 3 because starting from 2 index number 2 was great 2 3 was good 2 3 4 as soon as you added this it became invalid so 3 will be your right pointer now getting it now again start from here okay so b a a is your string and none of them is val invalid and so on right you keep on doing this for all the things right and hence the final answer that you have is a a b c because you keep on updating your answer right at every step getting it as soon as you update your right you keep on updating your answer so this is what the core logic is let me show you the code the code is very simple okay it's very simple not at all tough to understand this is a set that i have taken and, and i have added all the words in a set all the invalid words in a set why because if i want to search whether a particular word is invalid or not has set is one of the best approaches to set uh, to check right if i just use it if i just check it using a string so that will be a big of n operation here it's a big of one operation getting it answer is equals to zero current right what's the rightmost character that you can include right now word dot length minus one that's the last character okay this guy remember i'm moving from right to left because i have to take care of the rightmost characters first okay word dot length minus one left is greater than equals to zero left minus one it means what's your current starting character right now that is what left pointer points to what is the right pointer that means this is your left what's the maximum right pointer you can have right remember length 1 to 10 so this is that right equals to left right because in case of a single character left and right index will be same right is less than equals to math dot minor left plus 10 okay and current right current right getting it this is what we do and then write plus plus now generate the current sub current substring that is word dot substring from left to right plus one remember this right plus one is because of the api uh, because it says that you want to include uh, characters two to three you write two four right simple uh, this 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 index is not included that's why now just check if the current word is invalid then what you do you update your right pointer sorry current right not right pointer right point is part of this loop current right right how do you update it as soon as you included the right pointer right index you got an invalid word so you now just can move only till right minus one simple this is what i do now if i consider once i am done that means for for one particular i for one particular value of left when i know what's the my what's my right pointer i am done with all the 10 substrings i just update my answer what is my answer max of answer current right minus left plus one this will be my answer simple right because this is what current right is so if if my characters are like this right my current right is this and this is left right getting it so it says that this is the last character you can include right this is the last character you can include as part of a valid substring if you start from left so what is the length it's current it's right minus left i mean current right minus left plus one simple if left and right and same then what happens one minus one plus one that is just length one right this is what you do and finally you return your answer right this is what the uh, logic looks like again the main i would say intuition that could come to your mind is by seeing the constraint that's why i say constraint is very important so you should ideally look into the constraint of each and every problem it gives you a hint that how can i solve this problem like here it's 10 raised to power 5 this is also 10 raised to power 5 obviously you cannot traverse both of them in an n square loop right but this is one of the great things that i know right this helps me in you know coming to a uh, uh, coming to a conclusion that okay i can generate all the substrings starting at character i which is of length 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 till 10 simple that will be 10 raised to power 5 into 10 that is 10 raised to power 6 it will very easily pass within the time constraint right so yeah this is what i had for this solution do let me know in case you have any queries also if you find this video useful please support it by liking this video also if you are new to this channel please subscribe it and it will help you in keeping posted that whenever i post any videos related to the lead code contest you will be notified right so yeah take care i'll see you in the next video Bye bye